and you think you know what the Constitution says. But J. Rex Dibble, the professor, said, the Constitution says what the Supreme Court says it says and nothing else. And we spent that entire year, five units, it's almost as big as contracts, torts, and real property, learning what the cases have talked about and what the Supreme Court justices over the years had agonized out of that language. I am going to make you into a fortune teller tonight. And here's the deal. All of us here, I suspect, are substantially more sophisticated than the low information voter that Rush Limbaugh is continually talking about. And I hope that's the case, and I hope you watch occasional comments from uh, the uh, various media and the talking heads that we see on CBS, NBC, ABC, and Fox. They have been talking about something lately that is more than fascinating to you, I'm sure. John Boehner, who we know is the Speaker of the House, and Barack Obama, who we know is the President of the United States, are in a conflict where they can't agree on much of anything, including the tragedy at the border, uh, the fact that Obamacare is making everybody wrecked. But one of the things that has now happened is there is talk about the House of Representatives suing the executive, suing Barack Obama, the president, to get him to do what? Do you honestly believe we're going to march on in ask the Supreme Court to give us an order to make the president do this and that and the other thing, and he sends out a series of uh, U.S. Marshals? <laughs> That's not going to happen. When you study the Constitution in law school, you get to the point where you talk about the disproportionate and very, very difficult power vacuum that occurs when you have one of the three branches vying with the others. So you have the executive and the legislative branch vying now, and now we are not talking about impeachment anymore, goodness knows. Uh, the Democrats are saying they are trying to impeach uh, the only president that we've ever had in this country who has brought the country together. You can disagree with that. Uh. Uh, and, and the House of Representatives say, no matter what we do, he's not going to pay any attention to it. So we're going to sue. When you get into the situation of bringing suit, you must have standing. There's a question about that. You've heard that on a news broadcast. That means, do I have an actual cause of action, something which is justiciable? We're talking about quiet title tonight. We're talking about a right having to do with your real property. But when we're talking about Congress and the legislative body, the House of Representatives, passing a law and the executive mansion and the executive in charge ignoring it, what do you do? Well, you can go into the, into the courts. If you take a look at Article 3 of the Constitution, you'll find that the courts are created with the Supreme Court, which is nine members, and it is the constitutional court. If you look at 3, which is a very short article, you'll find that the inferior federal courts are created for one purpose, to satisfy patronage. The appointments are by the uh, representatives in Congress. So what happens is if a case is filed with a federal court and a decision is made by a federal judge, it can work its way up through the appellate process, finally to the Supreme Court. In this, and I'm going to make you into a fortune teller right now. If you get this case where the House of Representatives is complaining about the inability of them to pass a law and have the executives enforce it, you will have the U.S. Supreme Court say, aha, what I've got here is a copy of Black's Law Dictionary. Not hot off the press, it's a 1979 book that I bought. But that case, which Boehner is talking about bringing before the Supreme Court, poses what is called a political question. You have the body of government failing to do that which it is obliged to do. And here is what happens, and after I read to you the answer, you will be the fortune teller and know how this case is going to turn out. And I quote, quote, Questions of which courts will refuse to take cognizance or to decide on account of their purely political character 
or because their determination would involve an encroachment upon the executive or legislative powers. You heard what I said. You are now a fortune teller. Except for the happy circumstance that my brethren who are practicing law are going to make a lot of money off this, that's how it's going to turn out. <laughs>